he just brought up a question to me. He said, if you had twenty to $50,000 a year for up to 10 years, what would you do with it? The whole idea, honestly, at its core, is to reconnect, um, in some cases connect, uh, high school students to nature. You know, the idea that these kids are going to get really excited about science from learning it in the classroom doesn't work. I saw children in fifth, sixth grade going to nature programs, like a nature's classroom or something like that, and they were hooked. When they get to high school, I don't know if they don't think the job opportunities are there or you know they, they can follow this type of passion, or they just don't know enough about the natural resources and, and the environmental sciences. By the time they get to high school, somehow we've lost them. We think that if we can get them out in the field and get them in that environment, and then let's learn about it. But let's let them explore it at the same time. And they come here and they learn about water resources, they learn about forestry, fisheries, wildlife, geospatial technology, you know, mapping. They, they learn all this in a week. These are tools in, in a way. We're introducing them to tools so that they can then take this experience and they can go back into their home community just seeing the excitement on all the kids faces but not just the kids but the graduate students the undergraduates the faculty the staff everyone is passionate about this it reminds me of myself and and how interested i used to be and how i just used to eat up any information um, regarding natural resources and you know going through five years of school now has kind of made me forget about how eager I used to be to learn about all this stuff. You feel good when the, the student comes to you and you know, has a true honest question or maybe even stumps you. You have to go look something up. And these kids, they're, they're free with that 24-7. They've got questions to ask. Uh, they've got, you know, things they want answered. I think I want students that are in this program to leave with, with a greater understanding of conservation, and why it's important, uh, you know, to our, to our not only our daily lives but to our future and our children's future. I think it makes a lot of sense to take this program and try to integrate that land use decision making component in the local communities into the science curriculum. If you look at the demographics of people who are, you know, volunteers um, on these commissions across Connecticut, very few are under 50. It's a big problem. So it made me excited to see the passion come out of them at such a young age, when they're in high school. You know, in high school I had different, I wasn't even planning on coming to college. So for them to have already, you know, some of them freshmen going into their sophomore year, to be able to see that they've already had a grasp of what they wanted to do and they were pursuing it. I really get to see the transformation that happens among, among these students. These students come from a huge spectrum. Some that spent a lot of time outdoors. Others that, quite honestly, probably haven't spent very much time at all in the natural world or playing outdoors. And every one of those students, you know, finds that and sees that. And you actually see that glow that happens uh, during that week. Uh, and it can't help but be infectious.